Did you know there was a Greek goddess of ruin, recklessness, rash action, mischief, folly? A goddess that specifically leads men to ruin. And no, I'm not talking about Hayley Bieber and the Jenners. I'm talking about the goddess Arte. She was the daughter of Eris, the goddess of discord, but also Zeus, until Zeus kicked her off Mount Olympus. Why would her father Zeus kick her out? Great question, I'd love to tell you. Do you remember when the mortal woman Alcmene was giving birth to Heracles? Well, Hera, who was obviously very jealous, she called upon Arte to convince Zeus to make his next descendant, his next sort of mortal demigod descendant, king of all the Argives, if they were born that night. Hera did this specifically because she knew that Zeus had another descendant, King Eurystheus of Tyrans, Heracles' cousin. The same cousin who made Heracles do all of those impossible tasks, those labors. Well, Hera instructed the goddess Arte to make sure that Eurystheus was actually born prematurely and would be born that night, but more importantly, he would be born before Heracles because Hera detained another goddess, Eletheia, the goddess of childbirth, detained her on Mount Olympus so she could not help Alcmene give birth to Heracles. This meant that Alcmene's labor was long and arduous, and we often forget that Heracles was actually a twin. She was trying to push out two babies. Poor Iphicles, the forgotten child. Now once Zeus was wise to all of this deception, he banished his daughter Arte from Mount Olympus. She landed on a mountaintop in Phrygia, and she wandered the world, but not touching the earth. She wandered around stepping on the heads of men, making their lives terrible, I imagine. Even the god Dionysus was not immune to Arte's powers. Dionysus had a boyfriend called Ampelus, and Arte convinced Ampelus to ride a really dangerous bull in order to try and impress Dionysus. So he did that, he rode the bull, and he fell off and broke his neck. Now being the goddess of folly, ruin, and delusion, the goddess Arte was actually more famous than you might think. Shakespeare references Arte and her powers in no less than two different plays, Julius Caesar and Much Ado About Nothing.